Good morning my lovers, I'm back out on the fields and what I'm going to try and do, going to try and do, during this lockdown, I'm going to try and put up a video every day for your delight and, and to stop you getting too bored, locked in your houses. Well, it's a bit more lenient now this lockdown, isn't it? You can go out at least and you can go metal detecting, but uh, I'm going to try to do a metal detecting video every day. Obviously when it's pouring with rain, it'll be a bit more tricky. I uh, don't like going out in the rain, but uh, I've got loads of machines now, so I'm going to try and do metal detecting every day. Oh, Matt's had his new metal detector delivered. Right, let's see what treasures I can find today. Oh, I've got something down here. Oh, could be something really nice. <laughs> could be. Right, let's see what it is. I can see something shining. Is it silver? Oh, I don't know. Is it silver? Oh. Is it silver? It, mm, I don't know, I can see it coming off. It's chromed. But it looks like a bone. Is it a bone? Oh, some sort of a stud. Some sort of a stud. A bone stud. Perhaps it went on the collar of a dog or something. Yeah, oh, it's gone forever. Oh, found it again. Right, so it's, looks like a bone, a very short bone. Oh, I've got a lovely one here. Oh, it's huge, a hoard, a hoard of gold. Still down there. It might not be a moo tube. I've just had a moo tube. Pesky things. Sounded so sweet. Oh. I had a bleep. Yeah, I did. I did have a bleep. Ah. Oh. Anglo-Saxon gold would be nice. What do you reckon? Anglo-Saxon gold. Oh, I moved it. Oh, I've lost it now. Right, it's here. It's right there. Oh, yeah, it's there. Can't see anything. Ah, uh, uh, right, I'll get back to you when I find it. Right, it's in my hand. Oh, it's in my hand. What's that there? Is it a good big lump of cack? It's a good big lump of lead. Me thinks it's a good big lump. Lump out of lead. Oh, I thought it's going to be something really nice then. Has it got any pattern to it? Uh, no, it's just a good big chunk. Oh, oh well, on to the next. Ooh, sounds nice. Nothing on the screen. Mm. Oh, something down the hole. Ooh, right here. It's right there. All right, let's get you round this side. Right there. Right, where's my thing gone? Ah. I'm near an Anglo Saxon field, so I'm hoping to have a nice Anglo Saxon coin, it would be really nice. 
bit of Anglo-Saxon silver. Oh, what's up there? I can see something hard. Oh, is it just a rock? Oh, it's a rock. <gasps> what's that? Is that silver? Or was it a pesky button? Mm, it is. Oh, I thought I had silver. But no. Ah, it's a pesky button. Ugh, I just saw that silvery edge and I thought we had a Anglo-Saxon silver coin, but no, it's a pesky button. Oh, I got a nice sounding button here. Of course, it could be a hammy, I suppose. Or a thimble, could be a thimble. Yeah, thimbles to see this sort of dots all round here. That's t classic thimble. Yeah, somewhere down there, I reckon it's a thimble. Right, it's reckon it's still down there. Oh, if you put in the comments. I expect you put in the comments below, you think, oh, it's going to be a thimble. It's going to be something like thin copper, you know, like thin copper, like a, like a shotty is like made of thin copper. So I'm predicting thin copper like a thimble. Right there. Want to get on it? Dig around it like they when they dig for nuggets in Australia. They dig around things, don't they? So they don't bash it and end up damaging their uh, perfectly formed gold nugget. Right, can't see anything yet. Oh, getting deeper. Oh, you can see something. Just there. Hmm. I don't think it's a thimble. Right, let's get dig around it a bit more so you can see it. Let's see if I get this dirt out. Right, going down the hole and landing on there. Uh. What's that then? Can't really see it, it's a bit muddy. Oh, is it going to move? Ah, it went. Ah, hey, that's a bit chunky. I thought it was going to be a thimble. <laughs> no, it is a lump of cack. Got a straight edge. It looks like a big chunk of silver. Can't be though, can it? Can't be silver. Oh, I got a straight edge there as well. That's a bit weird. Well, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. Yeah, don't know what that is. <laughs> what do you reckon that is? Got bubbles in it, like a, like, like a bit like cast iron. It's got some, if it, I don't know if it is rust or just dirt. It's got like a flat side there, and a the flat side there does look remarkably like silver. And a sort of a flat side there. Bizarre. That is bizarre. Look at the bubbles look where it's been melted. Right, that is a bit weird. Ooh, a bit of a flat side there. Look, it sort of goes flat side there and a bit of a one there. So it's a definitely a thing, but what sort of thing, I don't know. But it definitely looks like a silvery edge. Mm, if I had some foil, I'd test it out. Right, on to the next. Hmm, don't know. It's there somewhere, there's a pesky branch in the way, twig. 
like a sticky plant. Oh, ow. Just there. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. It's popped out. Oh. Oh, what's that coming? Yeah, it's a coin. Is it a round pound? Is it a nugget? I think I got a nugget. It is a nugget. A round pound. Oh, oh I'm a quid up. I'm a quid up. I get that cleaned up and take it into the bank. What's the date on it? 19... 99 Oh, 1990, sorry, 1990 1990 Yeah, it's a round pound Lovely jubbly Oh, I've got a banging signal here what do you reckon, Coke can? Put it in the comments below what you think it's going to be. Or was it a bit high for a Coke can? Yeah, I reckon it's going to be CAC. Oh, overload. Overload. Uh, Coke can, not a Coke can. I'm going to go with because a lot of these farmers they like to drink cider. Uh, they're all cider drinkers, so I'm going to go with a cider can, probably Thatcher's, Thatcher's cider. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a can, and it is. Uh, uh, uh. Is it Thatcher's? Oh, it's a bit mangled. Is it Thatcher's cider? Uh, uh, possibly. <laughs> it's possibly Thatcher's cider. Uh, uh, can I get anything on there? It looks like a cider can. Well, I'm going to see if I can get a name off of this, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah, it's got, just there it says, the last bit of drink aware, you know, for alcohol, it's alcohol. And I reckon it, that is a Thatcher's Cider. See the cider press? So that is a Thatcher's Cider can. How about that for a prediction, eh? They're going to call me uh, Mystic Clegg. Woohoo! Oh, we got a lovely signal down here. Ooh, not much on the screen. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Is it a spoon? It's a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon. Yep, a spoon. Little teaspoon. Oh, it's got some writing. It's got some writing on it. Oh, it's a bit worn. Hmm, don't think you're going to read that. Something on there. That's a bit worn. Right, it's a lovely spoon. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I've got a new location for my horde hunting machine. I've got a huge bank just here, huge. And I'm not going to show you the property, but it's just the other side of that little wall. There's a house that dates to the Norman invasion. And there's a huge bank just here. And the farmer has very kindly got in here with his cutting device and he's cut back all the stinging nettles. So I might, uh, next time I'm going to come out, I can't come out tomorrow, but uh, we'll be out maybe the next day. 
we'll see. And I'll bring out my horde hunting machine, looking for super deep lumps of iron. Because there's a huge bank just here. And it goes right up there, look. And I'm going to, well, not got to the bottom of it yet. Right, so I'm standing in the bottom now. And there's a huge bank goes along, goes up there. So I reckon there could be a few hordes just here, right next to this house that dates to the uh, Norman invasion, 1066. There's the, there's the wall to the house there, look. Yeah, I reckon this is gonna be a, a cracking site. I've been wanting to get back out with it, but I only wanna hit places where I think there might be something worth digging. Oh, I got a lovely one here. Oh, a horde would be nice. 12.46. I reckon I got some silver. I reckon it could be silver, which would be very nice. right there oh no it's a pesky buckle I want it silver not a pesky buckle it always turns into pesky buckles buckles these all got a bit of leather on it yeah pesky buckle Ugh. oh I've got a lovely one here Mmm, don't know. Mm, still down there. Right, close up action. This is the edge of it, look. So it'll come out. Oh, oh yes. Uh, oh, it's got it's got letters stamped into it. It says R S. Well, R five. Was it R three? Right. Let's get the camera back on the tripod and we'll have a closer look. Yeah, it says R S. in two places. Now is it a coin? An old coin that's been stamped? It might be. Right, let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Uh, ooh. Uh, mm. right, I'm going to let this dry out a bit and then give it a bit of a rubber dub dub and we'll see if it's a coin with RS stamped into it in two places. Is it a tool token? Could be a tool token, you know, for collecting tools. Yeah, I don't think it's a coin. But I'll give it a bit of a clean up and we'll get back to you. Yeah, I don't think it's a coin. So what this might be is what's called a tool token. So that might relate to the name of the company. And say if you wanted to borrow a power, t power tool, there is something on the back, but I can't, just can't quite make it out. Looks like an I there, and possibly an E. So, so if you wanted to borrow a tool from the company, what would happen is uh, there would be, a t there'd be two, two of these tokens, one for the item and one on, on a shelf so that they would know what tools were missing if they weren't returned to the company. A bit like when they go down coal mines, they'd have a token on the person and then a token on the shelf. And if, at the end of the shift, if there was a, one of the two tokens missing, they'd know who it was that was missing. Right. So, yeah, there's definitely something on the back, but I just can't quite make it out. 
It might have been an old coin. Lovely jubbly. Oh, sun's going down. Oh, goes down really quick this time of year. But I got a lovely signal here. Could be a hammy. Oh, it's around that side. Right, let's move you over. It's a funny shape. What is that? That's a bit weird to get you a bit closer. Flip the screen up so I can see. What's that? On. Right, looks like a bit of silver. Let's just check to make sure that's all of it. have a check round in a minute but it don't sound very strong now it's all gone off right let's get the camera back on the tripod and we'll see what it is hmm. don't know don't know what that is looks like cack <laughs> Oh, it's got lines in this inside. Look, there's lines inside. See the lines? Well, that's quite proper weird, whatever it is. Yeah, it's whatever that is. Oh, that's it, me lovers. I'm going to head off. Oh, I did get here when I got here. I got here with the GPX and I set it all up and I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background like a, sounds like a planer like someone's planing uh, but uh, my detector started going crazy and it actually said it it all went blank and the, and it said coil overload on the screen and it wouldn't work at all so I had to turn it off turn it back on again before it started working so yeah I'm gonna hopefully go out with uh, Matt tomorrow with his new detector and we're going to see what treasures we can find with with his new gear his new detector he's, he's super excited and and uh, no doubt uh, we'll find some good stuff cheers uh -huh.